Let's take a quick look at how to set up your first MIDI loop. Let's go ahead and start by opening Loopy's default project. The first thing we're going to do is tap the pencil, select all the clips, and delete. Now that you've cleared the canvas, go ahead and tap on the MIDI loop icon, which is the icon that has the dotted lines here. If you're on a phone, you'll see a single donut icon. Tap on that and choose Loop MIDI. Then tap on the pencil icon to leave canvas edit mode. Now tap on the mixer to show the mixer. Make sure that the mixer is in extended mode so that you see all of these slots. And these arrows here are how to extend or collapse the mixer. You'll notice on the left we see the names for each of the rows. We see sources, effects, effects, destinations, and sends. We're going to tap on the plus sign in the orange MIDI destination slot and then choose the synthesizer of your choice. I'm going to recommend that you choose an AUV3 rather than an IAA. Okay, so what this will be is this will be the instrument that gets played by this color. Now we need something to play the uh, the instrument with so tap in the sources on the plus and choose the MIDI controller of your choice. I'm going to use keyboard to use Loopy's on-screen keyboard and you will see if you tap on orange in the keyboard column that it says that MIDI is sent through. So by default when you make a color a destination of a controller, it will pass the MIDI on to the instrument it plays, which makes things very easy to set up. Now I'm going to hide the mixer, and all I have to do is tap on the loop and start recording and stop, and there you go.